Hello friends, Srinivas here. Welcome to our channel. And uh, today we are going to discuss document sequence in Oracle Few Generation Bible. So guys, on daily basis or weekly basis, we are coming up with new topics, new scenarios, and a uh, lot of interview questions in Oracle Fusion. And so please subscribe to our channel for uh, getting latest updates in our channel. So guys, let us start. Let me show you one air transaction here and uh, this is one air transaction from UK business unit and we'll see if the document sequence is enabled for this or not. Okay, so how we can check? So here you can see the document number. This is blank. So that means document sequence is not enabled for UK business unit or UK ledger. So the first step to enable document sequence is to enable the document sequence at the ledger level. So this is the first step here. Enable document sequence and in specify ledger option. So let us go. Specify ledger option. So in specify ledger option, select the UK business unit. So we have taken example for UK business units. So select the year, the UK ledger year. UK primary ledger, right? So you can see here accounting and document sequence so sequencing is not enabled for this ledger so just enable sequencing by ledger and you will see here the payable document sequencing for sub ledger is active here you can enable the receivable right and save and close So now we have enabled the document sequences at the ledger level. So try to create one transaction. So in air, create transaction. Navigate to air and create transaction for UK. Transaction source is manual, transaction type is invoice. So what the error we are getting here? A valid document sequence does not exist for the selected transaction type. Select another transaction type. So that means we have enabled the document sequence at ledger level, but till now we have not defined any sequence or assigned any sequence for this transaction type. Right. So now what we can do? What we can do? We have to create the document sequence. So this is the next step here. Create document sequence. Right. So that's why we can go to setup and maintenance and uh, navigate to manage. Manage the receivable document sequence. Manage receivable sequence. Click on create. Okay. So we are creating for UK invoice, right? UK invoice sequence. What is the application? Application is receivable. Now 
मडुलिच ऋषि बाबुल So type is automatic, right? So we are creating automatic document sequence, and here you have to mention at, in which level, like at which level you want to enable the document sequence. You want to enable document sequence at business unit level, ledger level, or legal entity level. So I want to enable document sequence at ledger level. The start date, end date. So let me start with uh, okay. And then we have to give the document sequence number from what is the starting value here. So let me start with one zero zero, one thousand, right? You can make it audit enabled also if you want to. Uh, enable audit for this document sequence you can enable audit here and then assign for which document category you are assigning this document sequence that is for invoice air invoice document category means it is the transaction type air transaction types so i am doing it for invoice okay so i am enabling document sequencing for invoice category so this document sequence category is nothing but your air transaction types so method is automatic start date is one 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 And provide the ledger value here. So ledger value is UK business unit. Sorry, UK ledger because we are enabling at ledger level. UK primary ledger, right? So similarly, you can do it for. Uh, you can add. You can create a sequence for credit memo, debit memo, charge back, okay, and adjustment and. Uh, you can assign the document sequence category here. Right. So I have created for invoice and let us save it. Save and close. So we have created our document sequence for AR transaction type of invoice. And uh, let us start creating one uh, invoice for UK business unit. Okay. So UK business unit. The transaction source is manual and transaction type is invoice. So notice we are not you noticed here like uh, we are not getting any error for document sequencing. Like so here we creating our invoice and transaction type of invoice because we have assigned this transaction type to UK document sequence we have defined. ABC. Select your customer. And uh, give the line detail here. Quantity 1000. Save. 
so invoice is generated then let us complete this invoice and check if the document number is generated for this invoice or not so now the invoice is complete so require the invoice here So now you can see here the document sequence is generated. So document number is 1018. So this is the initial value we have assigned to this document sequence, right? So in this way you can enable document sequence for here for different transaction types like debit memo, credit memo, and uh, lot of uh, custom transaction types you are creating for your business. You can assign document sequence. So guys, hope you understand how we can do it. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, share, and like this video.